Good morning, dear children. Today we are going to speak about sports and about uh, tennis forms of word. У нас на сьогодні узагальнюючий урок по темі спорт, а потім ми з вами поговоримо про часові форми дієслова. Haywood Brown says, sports don't build character, they reveal it. That's why we can make a conclusion that sports help us to be not only healthy, but also it reveals our characters. В сьогоднішньому уроці, дивіться, будь ласка, його уважно, візьміть зошити, відкрити підручники, тому що в сьогоднішньому уроці у вас буде 4 завдання, які ви повинні будете виконати та надіслати мені. Останнє завдання буде творче – це підготувати повідомлення про спорт у нашому житті або про поради, як вести здоровий спосіб життя. Тому давайте, будь ласка, звернемо увагу на вирази, які ви можете використати у своєму повідомленні. Naturally, in particular, in my opinion, generally speaking, some teenagers of my class, it's great that It is something I can't do without. I'm dead sure that, importantly, it goes without saying. And let's revise about sports. Do you know the main sport teams? Let's take your knowledge. What is it? A group of people in sports game. Team, a person who trains sportsmen for a competition. A coach trainer, yes. A place where people do physical training inside the building. A gym or gymnasium. A person who controls matches. Sudia referee. What do we do in the river? Swim. What do we do with the ball? Play. What game is football? Outdoor. What we do at physical education lessons? Run, jump, and so on. Now please, match the kind of sports and the equipment. Kind of sport: motor racing, tennis, tennis, swimming, horse racing, ice hockey, boxing, volleyball, athletic skiing. I don't know, please. Saddle, stick, gloves, net, racket, helmet, board, track, ski, pool. Motor racing. Helmet. Tennis. Racket. Chess. Board, swimming, pool, horse riding, saddle, ice hockey, stick, boxing, gloves, volleyball, net, athletic, track, and ski, ski. I remember. Guess what kind of sport is it text about? Це ваше перше завдання. Вам потрібно написати назву спорта. Який це вид спорту? First, sports in which two teams using skate try to hit hockey goal in the gate. Very easy. Next, you need a small ball, two rackets, and net for this game. Two players take part in the game. 
which is a kind of sports. A game in which two basket on the walls, a team trying to throw the ball into other team's basket. A kind of sports where two men fight with one another in the ring with the help of gloves. People need sports suit and sports shoes for these sports. They can do everywhere, in the park, in the street, in the gym. Now please write the kind of sports. This task is very easy. Please, the next. Fill in the gaps in the letter, which we have received from British school children. Read the letter about sports in their schools. You tasked complete the sentence with words and write them in the exercise books or sheets of paper. It's your next uh, task. Dear friends, I am writing this letter from England. I'd like to tell you about... I would like to tell you about... Write the word in English school, in English school, maybe about sports, yes? Most schools in our country have a sports day once a year in late or in summer, in summer в літку, отже, in late теж повинно що бути пора року. On that day schools have no чого цей день не може бути в школах? All the competitors are dressed in their clothes. Одягнуті яку форму? The running track is circular and inside is there a place for the high jump. The jump, які ще можуть бути трошки. And throwing the discus. All these events take place at the time. Який час всі? Проходять змага події. There is a big blackboard on video there. Що може бути розташовано? A writing for all to see. In the middle of the program there is a break for lunch. At the end of the day the captain of the winning team is given a present. The winners of different events are congratulated and have gifts. Write me please if you have some days in Ukraine. Your English friend James. Отже, це ваше друге завдання. Записати слова, які ви вставили в лист. The third task. Listen to the text from your exercise books and complete the sentences. Зараз ви прослухайте текст з вашого підручника і доповніть, будь ласка, речення. Now please listen. Check your English. Page 221. Task 3. Listen and complete the sentences. Perhaps it is football, soccer, which can be considered as the most popular game in Ukraine. The lion's share of success in this kind of sports belongs to the club Dynamo Kiev that started its history in 1924. However, while speaking of Ukrainian football it would not be correct to mention only one team, there are a number of serious representatives on football arena. It is first of all Shakhtar in Donetsk and Dnipro from Dnipropetrovsk. A further important step in the development of football will be the European Championship 2012. 
In 1994, independent Ukraine sent its national team to the Olympic Games for the first time. At the 17th Winter Games in Lillehammer, young figure skater Oksana Bayul went down into the Olympic history, winning the first gold medal for Ukraine. Olena Grushina and Ruslan Honcharov won bronze medals at the last World Championship in figure skating. Many European athletes are well known throughout the world now. Lilia Potkapaeva and Katerina Serbranska proved themselves as winners at World and European Championships in calisthenics. Andriy Shevchenko, Ukrainian soccer player, started his football career at Dynamo, Kyiv, and after his playing for several foreign teams came back to Dynamo again. The goldfish of Ukraine is Yana Klochkova, the Olympic champion and four-time world champion gymnast Valery Honcharov, won the gold medal at the Olympics in Athens and a silver medal in Sydney in the year 2000. Yuri Bilono, a Ukrainian athlete, showed excellent results in the shot-putting event at the Olympic Games in Athens in 2004, winning the gold medal. Vasil Virastuk holds the title of the strongest man on earth. He has won several strongman world championships. One cannot help mentioning the legendary Klitschko brothers, Vitaly and Vladimir, heavyweight world championships whose achievements have made them an example of courage and the will to win. Wrestling is a well-developed sport in Ukraine, too. Elbrus Tadiev and Irina Merleni won the highest awards in the Olympiad in Athens. The Olympic victories of Ukrainian athletes are quite impressive. 400 trophies, including 180 gold medals. These results say in favor of Ukraine, the country which ranks with the world's 20 leading Olympic countries. Now, please listen once more very attentively. Але пригадуйте, ми вже розглядали види спорту. У вас зараз йде мова про футбол і про відомих олімпійських чемпіонів. Ми вже майже всіх, крім Романа Гончарова, всіх розглянули. Listen once more. Check your English. Page 221. Task 3. Listen and complete the sentences. Perhaps it is football, soccer, which can be considered as the most popular game in Ukraine. The lion's share of success in this kind of sports belongs to the club Dynamo Kiev that started its history in 1924. However, while speaking of Ukrainian football, it would not be correct to mention only one team, there are a number of serious representatives in football arena. It is first of all Shakhtar in Donetsk and Dnipro from Dnipropetrovsk. A further important step in the development of football will be the European Championship 2012. In 1994, independent Ukraine sent its national team to the Olympic Games for the first time. At the 17th Winter Games in Lillehammer, young figure skater Oksana Bayul went down into the Olympic history, winning the first gold medal for Ukraine. Olena Grushina and Ruslan Honcharov won bronze medals at the last World Championship in figure skating. Many European athletes are well known throughout the world now. Lilia Potkapaeva and Katerina Serbranska proved themselves as winners at World and European Championships in calisthenics. Andriy Shevchenko, Ukrainian soccer player, started his football career at Dynamo, Kyiv, and after his playing for several foreign teams came back to Dynamo again. The goldfish of Ukraine is Yana Klochkova, the Olympic champion and four-time world champion gymnast Valery Honcharov, won the gold medal at the Olympics in Athens and a silver medal in Sydney in the year 2000. Yuri Bilono, a Ukrainian athlete, showed excellent results in the shot-putting event at the Olympic Games in Athens in 2004, winning the gold medal. Vasil Virastuk holds the title of the strongest man on earth. He has won several strongman world championships. One cannot help mentioning the legendary Klitschko brothers, Vitaly and Vladimir, heavyweight world championships whose achievements have made them an example of courage and the will to win. Wrestling is a well-developed sport in Ukraine, too. Elbrus Tadiev and Irina Merleni won the highest awards in the Olympiad in Athens. The Olympic victories of Ukrainian athletes are quite impressive. 400 trophies, including 180 gold medals. 
These results say in favor of Ukraine, the country which ranks with the world's 20 leading Olympic countries. And the last uh, task for you, uh, make up a story. Выбирайте або перший варіант, або другий. Find the pictures connected with different kinds of spots, stick them around your paper and write down the short composition on the topic spots in our life. Uh, 15 sentences. На окремому аркуші, який ви оздоблюєте якимись картинками паспорту, готуєте повідомлення або на тему «Spots in our life», або «Give advices how to be healthy» – дати поради, як бути здоровим, як підтримувати здоровий спосіб життя. Отже, шановні десятикласники, у вас – Чотири завдання, два зовсім легких, третє на аудіювання і четверте підготувати повідомлення, 15 речень. У вигляді невеличкого проекту. І зараз ми з вами повторимо часові форми дієслова. Проглянемо швиденько все те, що ми знаємо, все те, що ви вчили, past simple, present simple, past simple, future simple, як утворюється past simple, допоміжне дієслово did, основне дієслово з закінченням і дієк, якщо воно правильно, якщо неправильно, дивимося у табличку неправильних дієслів другу колонку. Ось воно. Present simple, допоміжні дієслова do, does, does ми використовуємо для третьої особи однини, і до дієслова в третій особі однини також додається закінчення «с» або «іс». For example, he writes, він пише. І future simple, наші допоміжні дієслова «will shall», в основному «will». «I will work, he will write». Continuous, present, past and future. Present, continuous, пригадуємо, відмінюємо дієслово «to be» на «is», «am», «a», «i», «am». He, she, it, is, you, we, are, they, are. І до основного дієслова додаємо до інгове закінчення. For example, I'm working. Я працюю. He is writing. І пригадуємо дії, в якій відбувається. Це дії відбуваються в даний момент. Past continuous, допоміжні дієслова was work, і основне дієслово із закінченням in. I was working, he was writing. Future continuous will be, основне дієслово із закінченням in. I will be working, he will be writing. Perfect, present perfect, допоміжні дієслова have, has. Has вживається з дієсловами, вживається. Вживається з займенниками he, she, it, третя особа однини. І основне дієслово з закінченням ed. Якщо воно правильно, якщо неправильно, ми дивимося в табличку неправильних дієслів. Третя колонка. For example, I have worked, he has writing. Past perfect дієслово have, has змінилося на had в минулому. І по аналогії основне дієслово із закінченням ed або в Дивимося в табличку неправильних дієслів, третя колонка. I had worked, he had wrote. І future perfect, допоміжні дієслова, will have, shall have. Так, і зараз ми з вами потренуємося. у використанні цих часів. Mix tenses exercises. Before you attempt these exercises, please make sure that you watch the revision video on all the English tenses. If you haven't done that yet, you can click on this image 
to go and watch that video. Also, after you've done the exercises, please make sure that you write in the comment section how you did. Right then, let's begin. Exercise 1. Verb, to wait for the bus. Let's begin with the sentence, I wait for the bus every day. A sentence in the present simple tense. In the next exercises, I'm going to change the time marker. And you need to give me the correct tense to go with that time marker. Okay. Number one. I, for the bus, yesterday. I waited for the bus yesterday. Past simple. Number two. Maybe I for the bus tomorrow. Maybe I will wait for the bus tomorrow. Future simple. Number three. I, for the bus at the moment. I am waiting for the bus at the moment. Present continuous. Number four. I, for the bus, when you called. I was waiting for the bus when you called. Past continuous. Number five. I, for the bus again, this time tomorrow. I will be waiting for the bus again this time tomorrow. Future continuous. Number six. I, for the bus many times in my life. I have waited for the bus many times in my life. Present perfect. Present perfect. Number seven. I, for the bus before I took a taxi. I had waited for the bus before I took a taxi. Pass perfect. Number eight. If the bus doesn't come, I, for the bus for no reason. If the bus doesn't come, I will have waited for the bus for no reason. Future perfect. Number 9. I, for the bus, since 9 o'clock. I have been waiting for the bus since 9 o'clock. Present perfect continuous. Number 10. I, for the bus, for an hour, when it finally arrived. I had been waiting for the bus for an hour, when it finally arrived. Past perfect continuous. Number 11. By 10 o'clock, I, for the bus for 45 minutes. 
By 10 o'clock, I will have been waiting for the bus for 45 minutes. Future perfect continuous. And finally, number 12. Have you decided to take the train? No, I take the bus. No, I am going to take the bus. Going to future. Right then, let's move on to exercise 2. Verb to visit London. She visits London once a year. Present simple. As with the previous exercise, I'm going to change the time marker and you're going to give me the right tense. Let's begin. Number 13. She, currently, London. She is currently visiting London. Present continuous. Number 14. She, London several times in the past. She has visited London several times in the past. She has Present perfect. Number 15. She, London since Monday. She has been visiting London since Monday. Present perfect continuous. Number 16. She, London, three years ago. She visited London three years ago. Past simple. Number 17. She, London, when she met him. She was visiting London when she met him. Past continuous. Number 18. She, London, once, before she moved to England. She had visited London once, before she moved to England. Past perfect. Number 19. She, London, for a few days, when she had to return home. She had been visiting London for a few days when she had to return home. Past perfect continuous. Number 20. She, probably London next year. She will probably visit London next year. Future simple. Number 21. She, London, this time next year. She will be visiting London this time next year. Future continuous. Number 22. She, London, six times by the end of this year. She will have visited London six times by the end of this year. Future perfect. Number 23. 
By tomorrow morning, she. London for five days. She will have been visiting London for five days. Future Perfect continues. Number 24. Has she arranged her day trip tomorrow? Yes, she. London with a guide. She is visiting London with a guide. Present continuous with a future time marker. And finally, number 25. Has she decided where to go next year? Yes, she. London again. She is going to visit London again. Going to future. That's the end of our exercise. I hope you've enjoyed it. As you know, what you can do next is to go to our website, anglolink.com, for further exercises. You will find similar exercises to what you've just done in Anglophile. На сьогодні це все. Thank you for attention. Не забудьте мені прислати вашу, ваш тест.